We got yet again a new card for the Majesty Lord Blaster set and we got some big reveals for the upcoming Premium Collection 2020. Let's dive into that! Hey Carfighters, welcome back to another Carfight update. Today we've got a brand new card for the Majesty Lord Blaster deck, as well as some new reveals for the upcoming Premium Collection 2020, as we got the new Neo Nectar Stride, that could potentially be the next big thing after Katrina, or not. And we also got the new cards that are going to be the new critical triggers behind the set for the Premium Collection. So we have an insight of what these critical triggers will do. But besides that, we also saw some extra information concerning the Premium Collection 2020, which we go into in a bit but before all that they showcase an interesting thing as they announced that there will be a new ban list on May the 5th and that's interesting as because of this whole situation with COVID-19 there weren't any tournaments there wasn't a spring fest there was nothing so there aren't any results where they can base their bans on or what they think might should be a hit or might be a ban so this is going to be an interesting list and if you guys are interested in a speculation or in my thoughts or what i think is going to be on the ban list and a ban list prediction video if you're interested in that let me know in the comments down below and i might do one before may the 5th that's there are some interesting things to talk about as this will be a ban list like no other as they're probably gonna look more into potential things potential problems potential uh, problematic interaction then actual data points will showcase them with results from tournaments so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments down below but with that out of the way let's dive into the new cards revealed to us as there is actual information that we got where we can speculate what this will do for the upcoming list and upcoming clans so we start off with the new royal paneling card for the majesty lord blaster deck as we got this great two star called trumpeter and her abilities are unknown vanguard to record circle when placed costs counter Plus one and soul plus one return a card with blaster in its card name and when light and darkness intersects each from a drop zone to your hand so on place venger to regular circle it fetches you a blaster from drop zone as well as the new order card within the majesty lord blaster trial deck and it was named before as light and shadows uh, crossing engrave but now it's translated to intersect so we don't really know what the actual name is going to be, so it might change up again once we get the actual translations. But it also has a second ability, which is continuous. If you have a Vanguard with Blaster in its card name, this unit gets boost. So this is a very good consistently boost for the Majesty Lord Blaster build, as it allows you to get a lot of value out of your searchers, as for one, this fetches back a blaster from drop zone so you could set up a blaster dark or blaster blade and if you also get the order you can basically fetch a blaster dark and a blaster blade whatever the situation is so you can fetch the blaster blade from drop or a blaster dark from drop and then fetch the other from deck via the order card and sure it has a vanguard skill but in most scenarios probably the vanguard on blaze effect won't be utilized as you'll probably have nothing in your drop zone the only situation where you could potentially get value out of that ability is you if you've guarded with a Blasted Arc or Blasted Blade in the previous turn or you used a PG and discarded one of those cards. It is an option so you can still get value out of that but probably will not be the case. How this card probably will mostly be utilized is in two different scenarios. On your grade 2 turn, if you ride into a Blaster Dark, you can discard a Blaster Blade with Blaster Dark's ability and potentially use your Crossing and Grave or the Order card, as this is a grade 2 Order card, to fetch out another Blaster Blade from deck, as you already have Blaster Dark in your Vanguard Circle, and then use the Star Call Trumpeter to then fetch back the Blaster Blade from the Drop Zone as well as the Order card, and then Call the Blaster Blade to the field, use the Order card to fetch out Majesty Lord Blaster, and you also secured your right target, and you have another Blaster Blade in hand, so you could go off for the next turn. What also could be useful for this card is if you ridden into Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark, and then go into Majesty Lord Blaster, you can call a Star Call Trumpeter to Soul Blast that Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark, and then fetch it back from the drop zone to your hand, and then also the new Order card, and then call the Blaster Blade or Blaster Dark that you fetched from the drop zone, then use the order card to fetch the other one and call to the field and then you'll probably set off your combo for whatever magic Seal or blaster is going to do so this is a very nice consistency bump to this whole strategy as it's together with the order card can 
fetch you anything. It can help you set up the board during your Magister of Blaster turn, or it can set it up the previous turn, even by fetching the Magister of Blaster from deck by via the new order card. So yeah, really nice consistency bump, and we have to wait and see how powerful this actually is going to be, because it all relies on Magister of Blaster as it is. I don't think this is going to be a good support card for blasters in general, as for one, the boost doesn't really have a lot of applications in the blaster build, as it doesn't have the blaster name itself. And I don't think recalling a blaster from the drop zone for counter blast soul blast is worth it all that much, especially as soon as we have the already other grade 2 blaster support cards from the previous, the next stage extra booster set. So... Is probably mostly gonna be useful for Majesty Lord Blaster himself. But from that special trial deck, we go to the new premium collection reveals and we dive straight into the new Neo Nectar reveal as we've got the new stride for Neo Nectar entrancing Flower Princess Sandrine. And her ability is act in G Zone. If this card is face down, and you and your opponent's vanguard are grade 3 or greater, cost counter plus 1 and retire 2 plant tokens, strike this card on your vanguard circle, and this unit gets power plus 10k and critical plus 1 until the end of turn. So this is an alternate stride condition that allows us to stride, but unlike something like Spare Cross Dragon or Nuo, this doesn't allow you to cheese your strides, as you still need to be on grade 3 and your opponent also needs to be on grade 3. So... What's actually the point of this card? Well, in the generic sense, this is useful for the situation where you cannot actually pay the cost for Stride as you might not have the Grade 3 discard or the Stride Father discard available to you. In this way, if you have tokens or you could generate enough tokens, you can still potentially Stride and it will plush you effectively as you can create tokens out of thin air so you don't have to pay the discard from hand to then still acquire the Triple Drive. But... That's just a niche situation that might occur in some scenarios if you're playing the Katrina build or whatever you're trying to do in premium. But where this card mainly is for is for the brand new Arsha playstyle. As the whole Arsha playstyle, the Trial Deck Arsha as well as the new VR Ranunculus Spinning Flower Maiden Arsha, is that all their abilities are act. It, it is during your main phase where you create the Flower Fairy Arsha token and... Because it's an act ability during the main phase, you can no longer stride. So if you play that strategy, you have to pick. Either you create a token or you stride. And this had a big issue for premium as it meant if you go first, you ride the grave free, create a token, and pray to God that that Asha Flower Fairy token stays on the field until you go into your stride turns. And probably it wouldn't. Now with this stride, you actually don't have to bet on that as you can just create it and then stride into this thing. And because you're already going to create tokens in that build, you can probably pay for the cost of this skill, no problem. And this synergizes really nicely with the Arsha's Flower Fairy token as it on itself will already be a 38k Vanguard unit as strides will add the power of the hard card, add it onto the 15k on the stride power of the unit. And this unit will also get an additional 10k. And because it also got a crit, it means you will swing it with more pressure. And that's without the force marker calculated. So you could either have a Vanguard that's 38k with triple crit or 48k double crit. Which is actually pretty nice. So this card basically allows you to play the standard Arsha build and then play it in premium as well. So where Katrina did this for the general token playstyle, this stride will basically do it for Arsha and the whole Arsha Flower Fairy token. Is it good? Not really. Was it to be expected? Definitely. Then what is really interesting and impactful that is going to come out of this premium collection for probably Neo Nectar and a lot of other clans is the brand new critical triggers. As they revealed the very first of these triggers and they started with Royal Paladin as we have this new critical trigger, Sand Flare Drago Kit. And its ability will be shared among all the other crits. So it's just like the previous premium collection. It's just a copy for every single clan only they have a different artwork. And the skill is continues from hand while paying the cost for stride this card may be discarded as a grade 3 so now we have a critical stride fodder this is really nice for premium as it ups the consistency of your deck as you can now run less stride fodders as you can move those spots to your trigger zone so you can open up your grade 1 spots for certain clans it doesn't really matter all that much i don't think that luard in general doesn't care for this effect as Luart itself 
already had no issue with striding also other clans that had other support cards like chronojet with smoke gear might or might not actually have used to this ability overall this is a really nice addition for premium players in in general as this gives more tinkering to deck building and their trigger lineup to see which type of skill they might find useful and what they want to put into the deck. As now we got crit triggers that are stride followers. We have crit triggers that could put themselves in the soul, draw a card, give plus 10k power. We got heal triggers, we got draw sentinel triggers. We also are gonna get the new sentinel crit triggers and then we'll have the whole range of premium triggers like stand triggers, stand triggers with effect, heal triggers with effect, critical triggers with different effects, draw triggers with effect. So there's gonna be a lot more things to think about of how you want to build your deck as this opens up more decisions and deck building aspect and probably this is gonna see a lot more diversity in the trigger lineup as with more v power triggers with effects are coming in we can see more different ideas behind how they want to build the rest of the deck as you can substitute your grade one and grade two higher shield values for maybe lower shield values but for better skills. And because they also revealed this for every other clan, here's basically the picture of the artwork of all the other critical triggers for every clan. The image quality is not the best, but we're probably gonna see better resolution pictures in the coming days, maybe weeks, once we're getting closer to the premium collection release date. So yeah, this is gonna be very exciting, but they also revealed something else that is very interesting. As they showcased this picture, where they basically put every double R onto display. And the double R's are the new critical triggers. So the top 24 spaces are gonna be the new uh, uh, Stride Father critical triggers. Then we have a row of the new double R Cray Elementals, which one we already knew, that is the new grade one uh, vanilla card, and probably all the other cards are gonna be p p more powerful vanilla types. But at the end, you see one card that's off. And that card is a brand new order card. A brand new premium exclusive order card, which we, at, as of the recording of this video, have no clue of what it's gonna be. So this could be anything. And this is where I want to basically ask you the question, are you interested in me starting to discuss about the potential of this order card, what the probabilities are and what it could potentially be? There's already a very awesome video on YouTube right now that you can check out here that's done by Can You Say G. He has already deduced that this could potentially be a thing about a week ago but now today we got the official confirmation that it's actually gonna be a thing so if you're interested in what this card could potentially be then i recommend you guys to check out his video links on top and in the description down below but if you guys also want to hear my thoughts about this subject then leave in the comments down below your uh, you, if you want to see that and i will get to that when times comes in probably a few days from now or in a week's time. But that's basically all the news that we got today. We got a new grade 2 for the Majesty Lord Blaster build. We got a new Neo Nectar Stride, which is basically another standard plus build, but not as strong as Katrina. And all the new critical triggers and the information around it that changes premium quite a bit. So let me know in the comments down below all your thoughts and opinions about these new cards. As well, if you want to hear a ban list prediction video about the band list that's coming in next week. And if you want to hear my thoughts and ideas around the whole premium order card that could potentially have a big or a, a significant impact in the format. So let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. And as always, guys, this video has been brought to you by our lovely patrons over at patreon.com. So thank it, Insider. You guys are amazing. If you want to support the channel or everything that's happening on the channel, then head over to patreon.com slash Insider and become a patron today. But with that said, I'm Mr. Timely, and I'll see you guys in the next one.